Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery Course. Today, uh, we'll be talking about the most important and the most common surgical uh, scenario. And usually, of all the cases which are being reported to UK, out of that 3% of the cases comprises of acute pancreatitis. So, in today's uh, lecture, if we talk about the outline or the summary of the topic we're going to discuss is I would say the causes for the acute pancreatitis. As you can see here, uh, like I have made number of uh, a number of uh, presentations and lectures for you before that, but it's a kind of a outline giving you the idea of what we're going to discuss today uh, in the lecture. So uh, one by one, we'll be talking about the different causes for the acute pancreatitis related uh, to why and the most common uh, cause for the acute pancreatitis, the second most common cause for the acute pancreatitis pancreatitis, we'll be talking about the clinical presentation, like how the patient is going uh, to uh, present to you if he's having a, uh, if having a presentation of the acute pancreatitis. We'll be talking about the signs and symptoms. Then we'll be talking about the clinical presentation and then we'll be talking about the clinical examination. What kind of the uh, typical points the patient will give you in his history, and we're going to discuss how you are going to make a diagnosis. You, you obviously you'll do a brainstorming. What is the etiology? And then obviously you'll be you'll be thinking about how to examine the patient. Now on the basis of your history in examination, and you are uh, you know making a, some kind of a diagnosis. What other differential diagnosis come can come into your mind if you are uh, you know, the patient is presenting to you with a pain, a PKS stream, and then vomiting. We'll be discussing about the criteria uh, for the acute pancreatitis and what is the role of the, this criteria in the assessment of the severity of the pancreatitis and how this is important. Then uh, we'll be talking about the range of criteria, we'll be talking about the Glasgow scoring system and why this scoring system is important to us, we'll be discussing in the lecture. Besides that, imaging is also an important uh, part of the diagnosis. So, uh, like, what are the basic investigations? Uh, and what are the basic, uh, like, the, we'll be talking about the role of the ultrasonography. And we'll be talking about the gold standard imaging technique for the acute pancreatitis. Then we'll be talking about the management strategies, especially uh, what kind of the supportive care you have to provide to the patient uh, who's presenting to you with acute pancreatitis? What kind of HDO or ICU treatment you have to give to the patient? Now, another thing we'll be discussing in this today's lecture is about the systemic complications and the local complications. We know that it's a kind of a widespread phenomena involving the different kind of the systems. So we'll be talking about the effect of this acute pancreatitis on different organs like the cardiovascular, pulmonary, hematological, GIT, neurological, and obviously the renal system. And then we'll be talking about the uh, surgical management or the surgical option uh, available for the acute pancreatitis and when we are actually going to proceed for this uh, acute, uh, uh, you know, the surgical management of the acute pancreatitis. We'll be talking about the local complication, we'll be talking about the pancreatic abscess, ascites, pleural effusion, and obviously we'll be talking about the thrombosis as well. Then we'll be talking about how you are going to drain a pseudosis. So that's all for today's uh, lecture and we have a lot of other, uh, thousands of other lectures we are, which are available on our website which is cardia.com so you can go there, get access to them and enjoy our lectures. So for the detailed lecture, keep watching scardia.com with Dr. Sana Khan.